for giving me this privilege. Oh, no, you! My son, my brother, oh, I want to my son, you my son, you are not a boy, oh, but me, you are not a that is more. Because if it is a small thing that, that knows so much, they will, they will just give you little. Like, you can be coming today, but they will be. Not God. God will do everything on your head, everything you need. And you will be like God. When they see you, they will say, You, you are being with Jesus. That makes Jesus happy. It makes him happy. That you are going about going like me. Every pastor should like to do that if you are called of God. You must let your people understand everything about the word of God. So that they can do what you are doing. You know, when I see people here coming to lead prayer, when I see people doing review here all of you, all our ministers, I'm so glad because you are getting it. You are getting it. Look at the sister that led prayer today. I was so happy. Chapter 9. We see he healed and then he prayed and 
What he was after is that what he raised more people, men of God, who be able to help the lost world. Now, he now called on to the side. Give them power. And he told them, I'm going to stay here, but you will go and do what I've been doing, and you have seen me deep. Because they are born again already. Even though they may not be able to continue very well until after receiving the Holy Spirit. But he suspended that because it's God. If you want, if you say you are holy, even if you are not holy, if you say you are, you are holy, you are holy in it. Even if you are a prostitute, if you say, hey, I can't start prostitution, you are holy, you are holy. Nobody can question. That male factor, male factor, imagine somebody who has killed, they have sentenced and it's supposed to, I mean, hell. But when they cry to Jesus on the cross, just say, look, I don't care what you have said, because I see humility, I can't speak. Today, that's God. So don't question Jesus. Why did you beg these people to receive power? Why did you beg them to receive anointing like that? When the Adamic nature is still there, you know, those are questions you are going to be quiet and say, hey, God, you have the power, you have the Anything, after all, who sat down? And put the law. This is good and this is bad. And if you check this, okay, no, this food is now bad. Who are you questioning? Man of God. Was blind. 
Paul is here. When he was Saul, he was just Saul. Just Saul is in him. Oh no, there he is. He's not here. Guy is serious. Oh, 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 I Oh, no. Drop it, drop it to that. <laughs> we, we 
that get into the spray money. You just stay like this with the machine. And be rolling and when you be thoughtful. I saw I saw a, a video where I went to get you she, she, she was just a pastor back and she was spread about she carried he said look by the time she carried a lot of money like this this uh, uh, speaker plenty like that he said I'm my own is better for that oh. and then you carry money that dollar so inside he said plenty so was not asking where are they getting the money Oh, in the no? the EFCC stop where they are holding one party. You know if EFCC is an agency in Nigeria that catches people who don't take money like that. So they went to arrest them about 50 of them for their about. The, the cars, the phone, so many things, the money they collected here is a lot. So the question now was that, what's, what's going on that this generation, they are going mad in the way they are getting the money. How is it happening? And the girl was saying that in our own time, what we usually discuss is, have you been admission? Do you make it? Which university do they give you offer? What are you going to study the different one of it? And that's true, you know? That's our argument, that's our discussion, that's the, the, the narration there. Today is hey, Yahoo, and you want to make it fast, Yahoo, Yahoo, I will show you. And you say, wow, what's going on? That the children have not become real everywhere. That's what is going on everywhere. In some parts of Nigeria, parents, they are helping them. They are trying to buy the right computer, the right phone to go into Yahoo. And it will surprise you, the parents, so they are not of my age. When we are saying parents, all these children that give birth to children, I think they are 25, 26. The mother of this generation, I'm not talking of my own generation, I'm not in our own time, you can't see this. We can't. Education is important for us. We are the mothers of this generation. From, from many of them. 35 years of course. So, they what they learn? Like mother, like children. Many of my, my own age group, who are mothers, where we learn this culture, many are dead now. And fathers, like my age, many are dead now. People like God, you are few now. And what can check the statistics, the, the, the population? We have almost 70 percent new young, young people. Almost 70 percent. Now, they said they're phony. People are not giving reason why. And they said today, we have people who are using the power of them, that's evil power. They use it, and then church maintains all of that. That then this boy goes there, can do work, different work, and this thing are working because it's devilish. So they use that to scam Nigeria and overseas people. Mm -hmm. 
chapter 28 of Matthew. Matthew 28. Matthew 28. From verse 19 to verse 20. Go in therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Verse 20. Teaching them to observe all things, whatsoever commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the day. And he said unto them, Go ye to all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Chapter 1, verse 8. Acts chapter 1, in verse 8. Here you can see me giving the poor ahead that now that I have completed the work, go and preach to the whole world. Verse 8. For ye shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the other people. Jesus empowered them. And after he has finished the war, he now said, This empowerment is not just for the children of Israel only, it will cover the whole world now. So that's our challenge. Once you are in the side, if you are the only for the day, that will reach out to the wall. I understand. In a church like this, some people will come because they have needed help. And we help them. After they are held, we expect that that will catapult, that it help them to surrender their lives. Now, that cannot happen except we are praying for them. That's why we keep praying that prayer as men who are still power, not necessarily because you are outside, even inside. If you are still power, our prayer will cover you. That's why the prayer must continue. In fact, we must even say, some of you used to say that even those of us are here who are still on that point, God will set us free. I'm going to pray for them. You see, most people are taken away by all this prophetic life. And, and unfortunately, it's not heavy them. That's why they brought them here. And now, instead of them to tune to learning the world, no, they're not ready for that. You know why? Yet, understand who Jesus is. So you keep praying for them. Whether they are here or they are outside. They won't come in contact with Christ seriously. You will see, they won't miss the study of the Bible. They will love the study of the Bible. But today, you will see, they will come. Even if you give them money, they will show love to let them the war, no way. We have to be praying for them. And I know God will answer our prayer. And so, in Matthew chapter 10, let me go to that. Verse 7. Matthew chapter 10, from verse 7. And as he go preach, say, the kingdom of heaven is at hand, he receive, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out the hook, freely ye have, receive, freely ye have, used to be with the Pharisees. And it's not that they want the tendency to want to turn everything to money. Because that's what the Pharisees were doing. That's why he gave them the warning. Listen, you know, this healing you are going to give to people, this power that you are getting, you know, it's not for sale. No. But because 
He reminded them, you yourself, you got it free. Ask him, did I collect money from you? I mean, when he said freely he has received, freely give, he's not saying, did I collect money from you? Eh, Peter, when we hear your mother, he love, he will collect money. That's why he said, freely you give, you receive, freely you give. This is so clear. Yes, you have the power to give, but not for sale. This thing should get into our head, you and me. This power God is giving us is to help people. Money that God is giving us. Authority is to help. The mistake people are making about this church. We, we are studying Bible. We, we are, we, we are, we are studying Bible. And we know what God wants. So we have to help. Number one. How did we get the money? If not God, the Bible even asks, what have you received? You are a child of God that you have not received from God. How did you get you know, the so, How did you get whatever you got? As a child of God. It's God that gave it to us. Therefore, we must give it up as well. So, if people don't understand by you, if they say we are doing it because we want to steal people's glory, I don't know what they mean. It's God who knows for the Bible. You know, I listen to some testimony from some of you when you are talking to me. The fellows who, you know, they are, they are here because they see you. I've had at least two people or one of that that will say, What brought you to this ministry? When I see this one, the way she lives her life, I know the change has come upon the person. And I, I will follow him. I will go and see what, where she is going that has changed her like this. No, it's because you are living out that lie. That's why, you know, it's not until you speak, you preach. Your action, your behavior is preaching to people. The Bible says we are the letter written to the wall. So, what's your language? And I thank God for many of us who, by the grace of God, through our behavior, where we are sending, where we are doing anything in our house, here we are. People, because of us, they are in the house of God. And they are serious. Although not all of them are serious, but many of them are still in one day, in one day, in one now, you are seeing God giving guidelines, blueprint to the disciples now. And these principles are for us too. Because these disciples, they are the Avengers, that is, they are the people who brought the gospel to us. So that we will learn from them. But this so called prophet, so called men of God, they are not learning from them. That's why they are getting it wrong. But by the grace of God, as God has brought you here, follow this pattern. Let your life be a life that will bring other people to the Lord. And then preach to the world, preach to them. In Luke chapter 9, Luke will record this, this authority, this blueprint that Jesus gave here. 
Then Jesus said unto them, Take it and beware of the living of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. And they reason among themselves, saying, It is because we have taken no bread. Which, when Jesus perceived, he said unto them, O ye of little faith, why reason ye among yourselves? Because ye have brought no bread, do you not yet understand, neither remember the five loaves of the five thousand, and how many Basket you look you took off, neither the seven loaves of the four thousand, and how many basket ye took off. How is it that you do not understand that I speak, I speak not to you concerning bread, that this will be way of the living of the Pharisees and of the side of their work of God? That day, this particular occasion, they didn't remember to take food alone. But Jesus was teaching them something different. That be careful about the bread, the teaching of Sadducee. Now, the God was talking of bread. Our uh, master again knows that we didn't really remember to take bread. Ah, we are in trouble. Why do you worry, worry yourself about forgetting that you didn't come along with bread? You don't need to come along with bread. The provider of bread is here with you. I was only talking to you about living the wrong teaching of Pharisees and Sadducees. After all, the last time that you, you brought those little bread, you collected from those small ones, you still carry baskets home. Not one time, not two times. So how are you complaining about bread? You are a child of God. You don't need to complain about what you eat and what you drink. But God will provide. He's our provider. But if you take the world, people say they are giving their life to God. If you take the faith in that, they cannot surrender totally to God. Or maybe some of them are not even born again at all. In Philippians, see how Paul described them. How Paul, Paul described them. Philippians chapter 3. From verse 18. For many walk of whom have told you often, and now tell you, even weeping, that they are the enemies of the cross of Christ. Whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, and whose glory is in their shame, who mind and so far. Those who shouldn't be in faith, who shouldn't be calling themselves men of God, that their only concern is their belly. He said, Watch them, be careful about them, because there are too many who are just. Merchandise of business people. Oh, yeah. We are not supposed to be in the church. Yeah. Not to talk of saying they are pastors. So, they be careful about them. We are telling the Philippians. Those who are born again there. Why is Paul talking the way he was talking like that? He, he knew that God will always provide. And even then, he prefers not to even collect anything free. He walked. Yeah, he walked. Look at 1 Corinthians chapter 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 9. From verse 13. Do you not know that they which minister about holy things 
live on the things of the temple, and they which wait at the altar are partakers in the altar. Even so, are the Lord of day that they which preach the gospel should live on the gospel. But I have used none of these things, and I have written this thing that it should be so drawn unto me, for it were better for me to die than that my that any man should make my glory void. For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of. For necessity is laid upon me, yea, woe is unto me, if I preach not the gospel. That's up to us. He's not contesting that the tithes and offering, the pastor should benefit from me. It's permitted. Well, so Benefit from it. It is bringing meat, food to the house of God. I said it is meat. Bring it to the house of God. Put that there be meat for pastors, for evangelists, for every person who is serving God. Full time. Who don't have any other So Yes, he said he knows that. No more he. He said, but he won't collect it. Only she come for me, but in his own he will rather walk. That if he does not preach this gospel free without collecting money, war is upon him. So you can then understand that there's nothing wrong. But the point is, you are not in the ministry because of money. When you are called into the ministry now, not like the old time, when you are called into the ministry now, yes, you can ask for who will bring money. For that money, it's not for you to buy debt, buy houses. No. Take care of yourself. Collect salary. They can be paying you salary to take care of yourself. They can even give you accommodation as a full time person. And the remaining, the church, the tenants, and caring for the church. No, my God, the church is not going to be able to pay that's what Jesus is teaching us. Don't go into the ministry with the hope of money. I will take care of you. But it is not about money. I had a call of God. After I walked for many years, I used to be in the ministry before. I work of God there. And because I was not a full time worker there, I was doing my job. It was after I retired that God called me to full ministry. At work. I so, am a pensioner. So, I don't need the money of the church. Rather, give me the money. Because it's God that gave me to be given to the people of God. And if you're a child of God, really, you pay what you bring to God. You give to God so that it can be used to help one another. And that's why the church will have a lot of programs for newcomers, for old comers. I mean, every support that the church can think about, the church will organize it. That's what the church should be doing. You are people who are just after your belly. You will bring in the Jew, you will bring in so many things that, you know, like this uh, Yahoo Yahoo thing. You will bring that in to the church, and people will not love to 
chairman put their hands up to speak in tongue up. And they will do this up to 500 years. 500 years, is that you Or 400 years, is that now? When you are going to do your NYC, you know you pray. Does it just work like that? And it's late like that. If you want something from God, you have to keep knocking. I heard. And I'm glad that our students in this church is happy like that. As they move to university, I mean, it's working out. One of them is going to get married very soon. You know, and she's still in university. And another one is praying. You will soon hear, by the grace of God, she too will soon come up. And you know, and all this young one to that will be preparing them. So that they're not going to have any delay. Everything will be working. Because that is from sure. No, no, I told you that you guys are not like my community. So let's begin to get our children. I know you, you, you of this age, you are lost already. You. Okay. Because you need, you, 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 you need, nobody teaches you how to start to prepare in the future. You see, the people of old, the preacher of old, the old who are not like this rubbish one, old, old evangelists, old, old people that we know, they have wisdom. When we are growing up, so if you are doing anything, when we are small, your name is sharing money for your child. But when I grow small, I saw you are doing this sharing money. The money you collect that day, they will tell you in the preaching. Go and make polo, make a box, put the money there, we put in the money. So that any money that is coming there is that for that child, put it inside that. that we used to have a clay, clay type of polo or of pot. In my own case, I don't know whether you see that. You see, I have polo now. You have pot. You see, I mean, yes. you have one for your friend. Mm -hmm. ah, okay, you have a card for that. No. You have a card. Hey. Look, you must open an account, though. Although they do not take because it doesn't have to be here. It is you, your own account. You use to say this area of my account, 55,000 or 5,000 is for my child. Everyone. You see, you take it from, from that and you, you know, I think, you know, university till the child. That's preparation, that's planning. I'm praying like that for the children, you know, not forcing today. Of course, we see over children, or else it's not for you. Even some of you will load your children with this, uh, what is it you are using to spoil their. They are, they are free, that's more free. Can you uh, bring beef? Put it left, what your child will do belong, and it's poison if the, the brain of the child. Put it on your head. You know, in, in our day, maybe if you go to see a child that has is deformed in my day. Maybe one of one out of one thousand. If I hear it, I have to have a lot of money in my bill. But yeah, you have a lot of money. And they used to give back to them, you know, at parts. What she might have given money. And there are so many things that are responsible for that. You power, power of Satan. They can come try for anything. If they hate you, 
nipa yesiro awa wo pe opo ni oso olorun ko ni ni won because if, if, if they have brought life to the war what will not be this what my and this circumstance this problem they are e ko to e pe ni won wa si aye ni ko ye ki aye wa ni gbogbo ni tin aye wa yi now comment question it is the complete heavy war garden e be resource awaye get